Baby bus. I am Kiki. I have received professional first aid training. Let's search for the injured in need of help. When an earthquake strikes, natural gas pipelines are damaged. The leaking gas ignites due to the spark of the electrical appliance and starts a fire. Ah, what shall we do? Make a wet towel first. Covering your nose and mouth with a wet towel can filter the smoke out of the air and reduce the intake of toxic gas. Check if the doorknob is hot before opening the door first. In case of fire, touch the doorknob with the back of your hands. Ah, it's burning hot! The door is burning hot! That means the fire is coming our way! Keep the door shut! When trapped indoors by fire, you should immediately call for help from balconies or windows. Help! Help! Do not call out for help for too long. Keep your strength up and wait for rescue. Touch the doorknob with the back of your hands. If the doorknob is not hot, then check if there's smoke in the corridor. If there's no smoke, evacuate as quickly as possible. When the fire breaks out, you should find an emergency exit sign right away and follow the directions to evacuate as quickly as possible. Drag the injured and follow the direction indicated by the emergency exit to locate the exit. After an earthquake strikes or a fire breaks out, it's dangerous to take the elevator. Let's take the stairs. scalded. It hurts. I am coming to give first aid. Rinse with clean water to cool the wound. Cut off the clothing near the wound. You need to go to the nearby hospital for further treatment. Okay, Kiki, thank you so much. You're welcome. How should we perform self-rescue when the fire breaks out? Let's review. 1. Cover your nose and mouth with a wet towel. 2. Keep the door shut if it's burning hot. 3. Call for help from balconies or windows. 4. Stay calm and wait for rescue. Perform self-rescue from fire to evacuate safely. 1. Cover your nose and mouth with a wet towel. 2. If the doorknob is not hot, open the door to check if there's smoke. 3. Bend forward and proceed to locate emergency exit. 4. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. First aid for scald. 1. Rinse with water to cool the wound. 2. Cut off the clothing. 3. Go to a hospital for treatment. Let's search for the injured in need of help. When the earthquake struck, I fell down and got cut by the glass on the ground. Don't worry, I am coming to give first aid. Put on protective gloves and apply pressure with a dressing on the wound to stop bleeding. First, Go to an open and safe area to ask the doctor to give you further treatment. Let me help you clean up the wound.
Saline Solution. Apply from the center of the wound and move outward. Iodophore. Iodophore can kill bacteria on the wound. Put on protective gloves and apply pressure with a dressing on the wound to stop bleeding. Apply from the center of the wound and move outward. Iodophore can kill bacteria on the wound. <laughs> it's still quite dangerous at the moment. Stay in the emergency shelter and don't run around. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. should we perform first aid for forearm bleeding? Let's review. 1. Apply pressure to stop bleeding. 2. Ask a doctor for cleaning up the wound and disinfection. 3. Wrap the wound. First aid for bruise. 1. Clean the wound with saline solution. Disinfect with iodophore. Let's search for the injured in need of help. When the earthquake struck, my hands were cut by falling stones. Don't worry, I am coming to give first aid. Put on protective gloves and apply pressure with a dressing on the wound to stop bleeding. Great job! The bleeding stops! Wrap the wound with a bandage. Sprained ankle! Take the disposable medical ice pack. Tear open the inner bag. Shake the ice pack to cool it. Wrap the ice pack with a towel and put it on the sprained ankle to reduce the swelling and pain. Drag the bandage to fix the wound with the figure of eight bandage method. Elevate the injured foot to help with ankle recovery. Do not exercise after the sprain, otherwise it will affect the ankle recovery. Okay, thank you, Kiki. You're welcome. How should we perform first aid for finger bleeding? Let's review. 1. Apply pressure to stop bleeding. 2. Wrap the wound. First aid for sprained ankle. 1. Put ice pack on the sprained ankle. 2. Wrap the wound with figure of eight bandage method. 3. Elevate sprained ankle and do not exercise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Baby bus.